honestly, if you saw me set up this camera, you would know I'm a beginner at this kind of thing because I'm really bad. But I bring your light. Oh, look, they glow. I'm just kidding. Okay, hi, how are you doing? Obviously now that I'm back and I can't set up the camera very easily or very securely, I mean, it's currently wobbling all over the place. Okay, I'm back. So this video is gonna be really just about mindset and where I was at during my journey and some top tips that I would have for you. When I did my knee, I did. I was in complete denial about it for about maybe four or five weeks. I was like, no, I haven't done anything that bad. Like, it's, I'll be fine. Like, it's all okay. I haven't done my ACL. I've just sprained it. It was too swollen initially to get x-rayed or anything because it was too, too big. So I had to wait and I was just in complete denial about it. And then you get shock when you get the diagnosis and then the acceptance part. Really, this video is just gonna be about, I mean, it's gonna be about a minute long and it's gonna be, keep going. Whatever emotional stage you find yourself in, it's completely normal to feel like it's not okay. And it, cause some days it isn't okay. But you need to set some targets. So I set myself some targets every day. So initially I couldn't walk and I couldn't extend my legs. The ligament was stuck behind my bone and I really, really focused on getting that full extension in my leg as well as flexion. I'd never really achieved it. This was prior to surgery. I never really got there, but I was making progress each day. I went to the gym to strengthen the muscles around my knee so that when I did have my surgery, I was strong. So those are all little things that you, are, you can do if you're in a position to. Now you don't have to have access to a gym. Doing exercises at home is also really beneficial. It's just all about doing what is best for you and what you can do with the facilities available that you have. I'm not saying go out and buy a really expensive gym membership, although that's currently what I'm considering in life. Do I join the CrossFit box or not? Hmm. So some targets that I set myself after surgery were to literally just get my heel on the floor. So I've spoken about this previously, but getting my heel down, walking heel toe, heel toe, that's really, really important. And the goals were literally as short term as that, but I also had some medium term goals. So my medium length goal was to make sure that I was teaching in September off crutches. Now, cutting it fine, I was off my crutches 24 hours before I was due to go to school and I wasn't really supposed to be off them, but I was just determined to meet that target. It's really important that you set yourself some goals. So once you've had your surgery, I would say sit down, but you'll probably be sitting down anyway. Sit down and think about some goals. What do you want to achieve in six to eight weeks? What do you want to have done? And what are you gonna do to get there? Bullet point, each week, each day, what are you gonna do to put yourself into the best position possible? And then think about your long-term goals. So my long-term goal is obviously to get back to sport, playing competitive and contact rugby. Well, be able to, surf properly, be able to play basketball, be able to play netball. I want to be able to do all of those things and cycle uphill with ease. That's fitness probably, but your knees got worked. So I ride a road bike and I haven't worn my cleats in like two years. They probably don't even fit me anymore. Um, but clipping in and out of a road bike is really hard and I haven't tried that yet. So watch this space for that. But those are my long-term goals and I still haven't achieved them yet because I'm still in the journey. And now I have goals each week for what I want to achieve. This coming week, I want to gain maybe three or four degrees flexion extra because I'm still not at full flexion, which is really annoying. But hey, it's all good. We're, we're being positive. I've made progress. At the time of my injury, my boyfriend and the group of friends that we go skiing with went skiing at Christmas and I was left at home and that was awful. It was I mean, I had a lovely time at home, but I wanted to be skiing. So I knew that that was a target for me as well. I wanted to be skiing. I want to be skiing so badly. The mountains are calling. Yeah. So I can't wait to get back skiing as well, which hopefully this year should happen. So I've got to wear a carbon fiber knee brace and I would advise that you get one of those as well for extreme sports after your knee surgery, just to prevent re-rupturing your knee. So little things like walking up and down stairs are daily targets. And I really, really still to this day focus on how I'm walking up and down stairs. I'm making sure that my hips are parallel, my shoulders are square, and I'm really going through both of my knees. Look at me like walking downstairs. <laughs> I 
Isn't it supposed to be like this though? Like that. There's no steps here. Another thing is I want to be able to ride my skateboard like confidently without worrying that if I fall off, I might hurt myself. Not like graze myself, but like really hurt my knee again. So I really want to be able to do all these little things. And it's really important that you set goals. So actually this video is on goal setting. Set yourself some targets, short, medium, and long-term goals in order to achieve happy, no, not happiness. Cause you're not always happy if you achieve them but in order to feel like you're getting somewhere with your knee, because actually sometimes you're like, I'm making no progress. And I get messages all the time saying, Megan, you're doing so well, you've come so far, you've got so much flexion. And really I'm like, in my head, I'm like, yeah, but I've had no progression in like three weeks. And all these people are being so kind. But you know, your battle when you're right in here, this thing here, is a little bit harder than the one people see outside. So. You just need to be honest. It is a struggle, but I would encourage you to set short, medium, and long-term goals. They can be similar to mine. I mean, I've just literally set up the camera really badly and filmed this, but just to touch base with my fabulous subscribers so that you know that actually, what do I do? How do I achieve that? It's like nine months is so far away. It's like the day you have surgery, you're like, oh God, nine months is so far away. But actually it's really not, and it will fly by. So make either weekly goals or six weekly goals, monthly goals, anything that's the way to do it that's exactly how i did it if you like what you saw if you could like and subscribe that would be really appreciated if you like that video and you like what you saw if you could like and subscribe that would be really appreciated you can follow me on tiktok and instagram and twitter if you wish if you could share these videos with somebody at home that you feel they would benefit please be my guest see you later